Hey Earth Signs and welcome to your weekend love reading. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I am doing a singles reading and then a couples reading, so we will do singles first. As soon as I shuffle your cards here for a couple more shuffles. These cards are so hard and awkward to shuffle because my hands are not that wide. Okay. Earth sign singles. Oh, sorry. Let me chip you down here. All right. Let's see what we got. For your situation, the Princess of Swords. This is a Starman Tarot. Amazing artwork in these. Your energy as the single earth sign is the two pinnacles in reverse. The person coming in for you or where you're headed is the five of pinnacles in reverse. Your foundation is the ace of wands. And your crowning energy or future energy is the world in reverse. Bottom of the deck in overall energy in love for you single earth signs is the prince of cups. The Prince of Wands is in reverse underneath that. So, wanting the real deal, not somebody who's in and out or playing games with you. Okay, so let's see what this Princess of Swords is about. Um, singles, you're really being called to explore. Um, that's what the Princess of Swords is all about. Um, it's time to, to question um, your assumptions of you know, your different values and your ideas and your beliefs. Um, it's time to ask yourself, what do I want in life? Um, what am I doing here? What, what do I, you know, want in my future? Let's see why the princess of swords is here. The eight of wands. Yeah. So this is all about questioning, um, questioning your reality. Question your surroundings. Pay attention to your environment and your surroundings is what I just heard as well. But you, you're you opening up communication or communication is coming in for you very quickly. Um, it's going to help you heal from something of the past. But most importantly, it's going to bring you in to a new thinking space, a new place of questioning how you have thought of life up to this point. It's going to ask you, what do I want? I want more, but what is it that I want? And that's exactly what you're being called to do. Um, your energy being the two of pentacles reverse. Um, some of you have had some kind of like rigid behavior. Um, you're stretching yourself too thin, um, trying to keep everything up in the air. And you're avoiding taking a risk that needs to be taken if you want to find success and happiness. Um, you life is full of risk. We cannot, we are not meant to stay um, in a state of fear all our life. That's not how we're meant to grow. Okay, it's clarified with the Page of Wands. In this deck, the Page of Wands is all about. Well, you could be dealing with a fire sign um, or have an eye on a fire sign, Aries especially. But uh, you're dealing with somebody, or you are have your eye on somebody who is very intuitive. They see things like um, very psychic, very intuitive, but you see a future with them when you are with them. Cause I don't feel this is exclusive yet. So you're still single, but you have been spending time with them. But when you see them or when you're around them, you see life in a different way. You want more, you want to be more, you want to accomplish more. You just want to be that much more, because this person drives that out of you. It's There's something about them. Um, but yet you're trying to hold on to um, different things in your life. Trying to keep everything um, up in the air without dropping the ball. And I don't feel that that is going to be um, a wise idea at all. It's time to ask those important questions. Um, and to take the important risk that you need. You could have fire in your chart as well, and you are very intuitive. You are very, you can see things, um, you know, in your future. This person coming in for you, um, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, they have been through some difficult stuff. They may, um, you may find it that they are um, difficult to open up. Uh, temperance at the bottom of the deck. So 
could be dealing with a Sagittarius as well, but this person had to do a lot of healing from a past relationship, whether that be you in the past or a past person before you. I am seeing for a lot of you, it's someone even before they met you. They lost it all. Everything was taken from them. So this person that is coming in for you, they, they have been through so much that they truly appreciate life for every blessing that it is. Um, they don't depend on possessions or status to find their value, their worth. They have been through adversity and hardship, and through that, they gained so much strength and resourcefulness. Um, and, and that's what brings you so much inspiration from this person. This person's story is truly inspirational. Um, and it just makes you want to be that much more of a person. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they have a very deep connection with Source. Um, in this card, the Three of Pentacles, it's the only person in the card. They're looking up to the heavens. This person is building a solid foundation, a solid life. Look at it in her hand. They are building a very resourceful and, and strong life because their first relationship is to source and they grow from there. This person is very positive for you coming in for you, Earth Sign Singles. In your foundation, the Ace of Wands. So you do know this person, even though you're not together right now, but the minute you met them, there was so much passion for life, like an energy burst. Um, you could have had a creative insight. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You could have had a creative insight when you met them. Um, and there's a lot of success that, that you see with this person. A lot of psychic success. Look at all that purple. So um, the two of you could uh, have a very spiritual connection. But there is something here with this world in reverse that... Something is not completed yet that needs to happen. Like you feel like you, you feel disconnected from the world when you're not around this person. Um, this person or the two of you have not come together yet um, for a lot of you. But you have more work to do before this person can come in. Um, if they are in your life already, you have more work to do before this relationship can come into fruition. There is love here. They do care about you or there there will be. Let's see what the world is here in reverse for. But you feel just very disconnected and spirits um, want, you know, get out in nature and connect through nature. That's going to help you reconnect with the world. Why is the world here in reverse? Whoa. The three of cups. Fair. This is kind of like, this is an Alice in Wonderland card. Like you feel like this relationship is out of the out of reach for you. You feel like in my wildest dreams would this person ever give me a chance. Get those thoughts out of your head. Um, this could have been a third party of yours at one time, Earth signs, um, because the moon is here at the bottom. This could have been a third party of yours, and now you are single from your other relationship, and you're wanting this person so bad, but. You're not quite done yet. You need to complete this cycle before you can, um, before this will come together. I do feel this was the third party because they have the three. The world is in the three. You have to complete something with um, your old life. So whether that's healing, um, but most definitely you need to question what you're doing right now. You need to question more about what do I want out of life? What is my purpose here? What should I be doing? Ask your angels for help if you're unsure. This could be a spiritual connection, like a twin connection, just because we have the moon here. So at one point in time, there was secrets here. They were your secret, but they got tired and walked away. Because you weren't seeing what they had to offer you. So they walked away to find healing. They needed time away from this connection. And now they're here, or you're wanting this leap of faith, but you're not sure if they're going to give it to you due to the emotional pain and lying and deceit and addictions that had plagued your past. Um, but there's some healing you have to do, Earth Sign Singles. Um, and when that happens, look at that. Look at that beautiful Ace of Swords card. 
during this time of healing from that past heartache, you're going to um, receive some very important intelli uh, spiritual guidance that's going to bring you into that mirror, that twin flame. Wow. So, yeah. Very, um, it's like you're waking up to what this person actually means to you. Like, all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I, I can't keep juggling. I need to find my purpose in life. But most importantly, I can't lose this person is what you um, singles are thinking. Because you could have walked away now from that um, from your other relationship, but there's a lot of fear to see if, if there's a lot of fear in not knowing if that other person is going to give you the time of day now. So, but take those risks, take that chance. You will not know without, I mean, hard telling, not knowing you got it. You got to face your fear and take that risk if you want the reward. All right. So earth sign couples. Please give me the most important message for our earth sign couples. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the weekend, please. And if you're in between, like, like that message was um, earth signs, if you are in between uh, being a couple or being single or, you know, in separation, I would suggest you watch both. Because um, two out of the three readings I've done so far, it, messages have been for both uh, sides of the coin. So um, there was messages for both people in that. So here we go. Whoa. All right. Earth sign couples. I just had to take a deep breath there. Holy cow. The three of swords is your situation in reverse earth sign you are the five of wands your partner is the prince of wands in reverse your foundation is the nine of cups in reverse and your outcome is the nine of swords oh my goodness what is going on here bottom of the deck is seven of pentacles clarified by the hierophant the six of pentacles okay Wow. Okay. Oh, did we freeze? My camera's not moving, but it's my timer's still going. So I think it's still recording, I hope. Okay, so earth sign couples with the three of swords in reverse. Um, you are trying to stay It's like you're trying to put a brave face on. Just here, I'll turn it right side up so you can see it. Despite your feelings of despair, um, they're kind of just sitting there all alone. Um, you're trying to avoid anything that is potentially sad or emotionally difficult. Um, some of you are not expressing your truth. You're becoming cold and cut off. Um, and your actions your the way you're handling your emotions is inflicting misery on yourself and and others in your life yeah this is this is avoiding potentially um difficult situations um and most definitely i i keep hearing you're not expressing your truth because the truth is going to hurt either you or somebody else so you would rather so you're you're choosing to live in misery rather than face that but you're hurting yourself and others you're hurting everybody around you um you need to speak your truth yeah look at that the eight of wands you need to come clean you need to speak your truth you are yeah bottom of the deck ace of swords most definitely you are yeah, that is your biggest hurdle right now, Earth Signs. Most definitely. You need to speak your truth because you're in a situation or, you know, a job or a relationship that you are slowly dying inside. Like, your heart and soul is getting, like, bleaker by the day because you're losing your passion to live, to to experience life. You're just secluding yourself. You're... you're 
hiding away in order to avoid what needs to be done is what I just heard. With the Five of Wands, you do have a competitive nature um, about you, though. Um, you could be so competitive that you're, like, locked in a battle of wits with your person, like, trying to one-up each other, saying hurtful things. Um, you're keeping a very, like, rigid structure. Let's see why the Five of Wands is here. A lot of conflict in your life um, and uh, way too many people in your business. Um, you're in conflict over a divine partner. I do feel that you are not with your divine partner, and that's what this turmoil is. So you're hurting you and your divine by not speaking your truth. Yeah, the bottom of the deck, temperance. Could be a Sagittarius, but this is a twin um, or a deep soulmate connection at the very least. But you're in conflict about whether or not to move forward. You want to move forward with this person, but you don't know how to get out of the current situation you're in, so you're hiding away. You could not be communicating with them. Um, and it's causing them a lot of sadness and hurt as well. This divine feminine is war the hell out. Um, they are going to begin to nurture their self um, to, to find their own healing um, because they don't see this situation going anywhere. Your person is the Prince of Wands in reverse. Restlessness, anxiety. Um, I do feel this is your spouse or long-term person. Um they're being encouraged to take a step back because, yeah, they're being encouraged to take a step back because I'm hearing they're going to need fuel to, to fight the fire that's coming. So this could turn into like a heated divorce, separation. For the divine person that you are... Um, in separation from I do feel this is their card as well with it being the Prince of Wands in reverse they're also uh, restless they're filled with anxiety what is going on why are they not speaking to me why are they ignoring me why have I not heard from them um, they're fearing that what must what goes up must come back down so they're worried that this isn't going to um, come back together Let's see why. Oops. Yeah, because the two of you are mirroring. Look at that. A mirror. This is your twin flame that we are dealing that you are in separation from. There has been a lot of betrayal. You have, and this can be vice versa, remember, but whoever this person is, it's not dealing with um, their emotions or ending things out of fear of, of difficult feelings. Um they are hurting this other person more than they realize with this Ten of Swords. It's there. There's a lot of pain that that and that's why the Divine Feminine is so wore out. And the Five of Wands and the Five of Pentacles just came out as well. So you could have ghosted this person, left them out in the cold, kept them in the dark intentionally because you didn't know how to deal with your own feelings. So you kept them in the dark, you ran away, um, and now you're kind of hiding away. Um, the Five of Wands, mirroring you. You guys are mirroring each other. Um, you guys can be in the same room, but there's a disconnect here. Um, though you're not in the same room. I'm just saying there's like a, a disconnect because of all the extra people in your decisions. You're not making decisions for yourself. You're allowing... Other people in your life, whether that be friends, family, your other person, um, you're allowing them to help dictate your decisions, and it's and it's uh, really affecting your divine partner here. Why is the Nine of Cups here in the foundation? With the Nine of Cups, um, it's a it's an arrogance card. Um, you're lacking empathy for the person that you're hurting. Uh, this is also avoiding challenges and staying with what's known out of fear and not wanting a fight, causing hurt to yourself, to others. For some of you, there's a history of overindulging, um, addicted to any way that can numb your feelings because you, you don't know how to deal with your feelings, causing everything else around you to fall apart. And your long-term person or your spouse and your divine partner and everyone else in your life 
is dealing with the the pieces being picked up and please don't think I'm passing judgment by no means am I um, this is just a very strong message it's time to deal with your feelings it's time to well we'll get with that with the outcome clarifying the nine of cups in your foundation judgment spirit is trying to lead you through this archway because on the other way are your answers on the other side of that pathway look how much brighter it is you're in the dark right now you're in the bleak you're in the sadness the depression it's time to take a step through that door do not be scared because on the other side the divine is waiting there to guide you to lead you to warm you to bring you light um release the addictions um and and deal with the feelings is what i'm hearing um and that's right on the other side of that archway you can't deal with the feelings um, in the situation that is going on right now um, because you're numbing them. And this isn't going to uh, resonate with everybody, so don't make it fit if it doesn't. But it is an important message for somebody out there because this is a really sad situation. Like, they're not seeing the light. They're not seeing how good it can be if they would just step through that door and allow their intuition to guide them to happiness. With the Nine of Swords... Oops. Wow, the two of swords. So um, in this place of indecision again, like with the nine of swords as your outcome, it's time to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's time to investigate, like to figure out, to dig in deep where your psychological turmoil is coming from. All this mental anguish. Question your fears. Why am I afraid of this? Why, you know, fear is just an acronym for, um, what is that? Something that appears to be real. I don't remember. I'll have to look that up. If somebody knows it, please put it in the comments below. But um, this is, it's time to question your fears. What is there to fear? Nothing. There is no reason to fear anything because what's meant for you will come for you. There's no way to stop destiny or fate. It's You have to live in the moment. In moment to moment, there's nothing to fear. You um, you have to understand where all these illusions are coming from. Um, you could be having nightmares as well. Uh, you have to dig in deep and, and figure out where the, those are coming from because they're deep-seated. For some of you, they could have come from childhood. For some of you, it, they could have come from past lives. In meditation, please ask your angels to help heal any childhood hurts um, or past life hurts that are affecting your psychological um, being in the moment, whether you know about them or not, to heal them consciously and subconsciously. Because this is causing you to not be able to make a decision about moving forward. Though success is knocking on your door, the person uh, that unconditionally loves you and is your twin is here ready to take action. But you have to get out of the shadow side of the moon and move out of this uh, situation you're currently in, allowing the change to um, come in your life and move forward. Wow. So you have this decision to make. Do I stay where I'm at with who I'm at in this turmoil or do I move forward to success? And these psychological issues and turmoil are, are causing you to be stuck and unable to make a decision. And you've been stuck in this indecisive energy for a long time, a couple years um, up to 10 years, 20 years. This has plagued your life for a long time. So it's time to question those fears. Why do I fear this? Where is this coming from? Um, also, uh, if you're having like nightmares and stuff, make sure you keep a dream journal. It helps. It helps you decipher like what is going on here. Um draw, write, um, keep a dream journal. I mean, all those things will help you heal. They're all methods of healing. So if you like to draw, when you're feeling sad, get up and draw something. Even if it's a, a sad picture, it helps you get your emotions. And then when you um, are feeling a little bit, you know, later in the day or, you know, you're not feeling as depressed, look at those pictures and see and read your stories and read your journal and see what you can pick out of it that is is creating these fears because there shouldn't be nothing to fear because the because the divine is here leading you 
The divine will not lead you to anywhere that is bad for you. The divine only leads you to bigger and better things. And through that archway, earth signs is everything that you want. Everything that you need and everything you have dreamed of is able to be created on that other side because it's in the light. When you're on the dark side, on this side of the shadow side of self, you can't manifest your dreams into reality. You can't, um, you can't co-create in the dark with the universe. You have to be on the side of the light and know that balance between the two and the fears are keeping you on the dark side. So it is time, earth signs, this message is so important. It is time to dig in deep and heal those, those hurts. The divine is here to help you. It's going to take some time. It will not happen overnight. But with dedication to healing this and figuring out what this is and why this is, it is going to help you heal. And it will move you forward, able to make that decision. And you'll be able to live in um, a much happier world. Because this isn't happy. This, this guy does not look overjoyed at all. Your divine partner does not look overjoyed at all. Your spouse does not look joyed at all. Everybody's suffering here. Everybody's sad. Everybody's hurt. Um, because nobody wants to deal with the, with the difficult emotions that come with moving forward. Moving on. Doing what's best for you. But you can do it, Earth sign. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be loved. Not saying that you're, the person you're with now doesn't love you, but you're not happy. And there's a reason for that because you're not where you're meant to be. So follow your heart and allow yourself to be happy. Sometimes it has to get worse before it gets better. So you're going to have to deal with these emotions before it can get better, whether you stay or go. Um, these emotions will only get worse until you deal with them. Um, it will force you to deal with them. You can't just bury these emotions and they go away. So please, for the love of yourself, take the time to work through these fears. Um, even if it takes, you know, reaching out to like a professional for help, um, because the sadness and the depression, it worries me. So please do what's best for you and, and begin to move forward. Um, because you have a, big beautiful world out there that is full of possibilities to bring your dreams to reality they're just waiting for you to take that first step and um, trust the divine that they will lead you to beautiful positive things but you have to do it for yourself or sign because um, nobody can do it for you all right guys i send you so much healing love and light your direction um, i love you all god bless